Right, hello everyone, and welcome to another video. And today I just want to talk about how to pump. Uh, this is a very crucial step of learning how to take jumps, uh, especially bigger jumps, and especially some certain trails and bike parks require you to know how to pump so you can ride them more flu uh, flu fluidly, or you know, with more flow, as that one goes. Uh, yeah, so basically, I when I first made this video, I made this before Stoker was even available on console. This is when Stoker wasn't even half done. Uh, literally this locomotive line stopped halfway. Uh, you don't get any of the bit where you jump over the train or anything like that. It gets past the wooden plank thing where you jump off. You'll see it in a second, you know what I'm talking about. And you go down that big ramp and then you get to this little like area. That's where it finished. So this was Stoker before it was on PC. and uh, Not on PC, on console. Yeah, it was before then. So when I made the video, I told people to go to ride Stoker because it's a great way to learn how to pump because you can use the whole of Stoker's locomotive line to literally go from top to bottom and use it only pumping. Obviously you need to accelerate at the start and pedal a bit but then once you're going down the actual locomotive line you can get to from top to bottom with only pumping. Uh, I do it in my second run here, this is a bit of a non- uh, I, I do pedal a bit at the end, but yeah, as I was saying, so pumping is very key to learning how to get better at the centers because it allows you to take bigger jumps and it might even help you out on some boss jumps. If you're struggling to just get speed or you're not launching off in a nice enough way, uh, it might be, pumping might be the issue that you need to learn and um, it's a little thing that is super simple to learn. All you got to do is just know your timing and know where you're going to need to pump to get maximum speed so just pumping basically works only by the right stick it is how you control your rider's weight so that is if you want him to tuck up or if you want him to pump down or if you're just doing anything else basically so that's also how you tweak and so on so basically what it does uh, and i'll actually explain this now uh, if you're struggling to take a jump and you're landing wrong and it's giving you the little triangle but you feel like you could have survived definitely after every jump hold up on the right stick it's something that i've grown accustomed to doing i do it all the time and it also stops you from dying a lot more it gives you a bit more of a fresh hold when you land so you should be okay it, it, it's a small little trick but uh, it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it won't save you every single time i promise you that you will still die but uh, as I was saying, let's get into pumping. So as I finished here, I go back to the top and as the controller screen, it, the controller cam is always on screen for this run. I stop pedaling and I go down and this is entirely with just pumping alone. I'll pump every time you get into the little transition between the dirt and the start of the ramp. This is usually because where the curvature is greatest and where the pumping comes into I don't know, it works the best, I guess you could say. I don't know the scientific word for it or whatever. I think I went to a science museum once and the more that you pull yourself towards the object, the faster you spin or whatever. That's literally irrelevant, I just realized that. Yeah, so basically you wanna pump in the bottom curve. If you've played Escape 3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've seen the little training area where it's orange and then it's blue and then it's whatever. And you're meant to pump in the orange section. This is because it will give you the most benefit uh, definitely pumping in the little bottom curve or even just slightly higher up when you first transition into the ramp is definitely where you want to be pumping and pulling down on that right stick because it will give you the most bang for your buck I guess you could say. It gives you a little speed boost, that's all pumping really does in this game is just give you a speed boost. I think the physics actually do work, the, the fact that the pumping actually gives you the correct amount of force. Uh, but it is a thing that people do in real life, that's why pump tracks exist and this is why you should learn it in game because it is actually helpful, you'll do it a lot more by second nature then you'll be like oh I've got to pump this and then you'll pump it. It's more of something that just needs to sit in the back of your brain that will actively work whilst you're going down trails. Obviously you don't have to do it all with pumping it's just a fun little challenge and if you could do it all with pumping you know you've learned it correctly because you're pumping at the right time and you're getting all the way to the end with just pumping alone. Uh, you can throw in a few tricks if you really want to, uh, you just get freestyle with it but it does mean that you might end up messing up the pumping but if you just want to focus on pumping and learning it genuinely just go down Stoker's locomotive line and pump all the way to the end. I feel like if you have ever ridden, uh, ridden a load of lakes on console i definitely think a lot of people struggle there you do have to take it with different jumps and you have to pump and so on to keep your speed up and just to be a better rider on that park that one is designed to be difficult so you can ride it a lot better it's a great park i definitely recommend you try it out it is just a very difficult one and i feel like that's a reason why a lot of people don't play the 
that park is because of the fact that it takes a bit more skill than just holding down the accelerator and doing a bunny hop. Uh, but as you can see, I'm coming to the end of the run and I've just used only pumping just here. I make it over the last jump and I don't really make it to the end. I get really close. I try to hop over the end, but as you can see, you can make it basically to the end uh, just without crossing the finish line. I'll show you how pumping works now with a little arrow and slow motion replay. So pumping basically works here. This little point where the arrow is, is genuinely where you need to pull down. This is at the start or the transfer of the ramp. There's a little line that comes across here, as you can sort of see. Um, this is what you need to be pulling down on the right stick. This is where it will give you the most pump force. You really need to be putting it here. And when you put it here and you get it right, this is when it's going to give you the most energy that you can get out of it. And it'll be the most helpful to you. Uh, a lot of ramps have this point. You don't have to do it at the bottom of this it, this is just the best point for stoker if you want to do it in other ramps it definitely the best point is just after you get over that line or you can use it in a different way uh, you can use it slightly further up the curve and it will give you the same amount of pump force if you want to count the pump literally just pull up on the right stick at the same time in the same area and it will stop you from pumping stop you from getting that force and you'll like slowly go off the ramp or you would like slightly tip over the edge it is really just how kind of counter pumping works it stops you from getting that extra force i hope this video really helps and if you want any more tutorials such as this and how to get better at riding in descenders or just any descenders knowledge at all um just comment down below and i'll try and make a video on it there is a thousand lux bikes videos already but uh, if you still don't get it i can try and make another one i've got no idea what else i can change about what i'm saying to get my point across anymore but yeah i hope you enjoyed uh, subscribe for more videos like this because subscriptions really do help um, like the video if you want and I'll see you a lot later have a good rest of your day